All right, welcome to the Daily Dollar for Maths, day 11, keeping the math skills bubbling over for year one and two while we can't be in school. Here we go. Uh, let's have a look. We've got our number squared today. It starts at 50. Let's count in ones. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. What's one more than 59? Fantastic. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. 69, 70, 71, 72, 73. Okay, and we'll stop there. Now we're going to count on in tens from 73 now. So we're adding 10 each time. We're going down uh, on the number square, but we're adding 10 each time. So the three is going to stay the same. So 73, 83, 93. What's this next one going to be? Yeah, 103. Next one's even trickier. What's this next one going to be? 113, it's one more 10, 113, 123, 133, 143, 153, fantastic, okay, now we're going to start from, let me see, oh, let's start from, uh, let's start from 80 this time, so we're counting in ones now, 80, 81, 82, 83, oops, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109. Now, what's this next one going to look like? We've got to 109, one more than 109. It's going to be 110. Can you write it with your finger on the table? How do you write 110? Yeah, like that. That's tricky. He's 100, and there's your 10. 100, 100, I can't get it, I can't say it. 110. 111. Oh, that looks funny. 112. 113. 114. 115. 116. 117, 118, 119. Now these teens have been mean because we it's it gets easier after this now because now we're going from 119. What's the next number after 19? One more than 19. Yeah, 20. So now it gets easier because it's 120, 121, 122. I'm going to stop there. But you can see it's much harder to say these teen numbers because you're saying this... For example, with this number here, with 112, you're saying the 100, you're saying the 12 all as one all as one word. Whereas here it's easier, it's split into three words, 122. So it's quite hard to say those teens. So 100, we'll carry on, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, and then stop. Right, we're going to do a puzzle. Okay, now, so we've got 96 here. What's this square here? This square is is one more. This square is one. That's right, one less. So one less than 96. One less than 96. It's still going to be 90 something. Yeah, 95. Okay, now that, now that you've done one, it should be easier. What's this one? One less than 95. Yeah, 94. One less than 94. Are you changing the units? Yeah, 93. Now, now can, oh, can we remember? Oh, so if I go down a square on here, it's adding 10. If I go up a square, it's, it's taking away 10. One of these digits is going to stay the same. Which one's going to stay the same? Yeah, the 3. So this nine digit, the tens, then this nine here is going to go down one. So it's going to be, it's not going to be 93. It's going to be something three. What's it going to be? Yeah, 83. 10 less than 83? Yeah, 73. Now we're going across again now. But this time we're going this way. So we're not taking away one, we're adding one. 73 add one is 70. Brilliant. Add one is... Fantastic. Okay, let's do our next thing. 
Right, okay, here we go. I'm going to move this along. I'm going to hide it. Okay, this is ever so good for reading scales um, on your weighing scales and other things, uh, but also for understanding where numbers fall on our number line. Let's have a look. I'm going to choose a number. Here we go. It's 2 less than 30. What's 2 less than 30? You can count back 2. Yeah, 28. Okay, switch it off again. What's that number? Here's 20. It's more than 20. It's one less than 25. Yeah, it's 24. Okay, here we go. There's 10. It's beyond 10. It's in the teens. It's 1 less than 20. Yeah, it's 19. Last one. I'm going to move it along. Here we go. In fact, I'm going to swap it around. Let's do it differently. <laughs> Let's mix it up. What's that one? There's 30. It's 2 less than 40. There's 35. 35. Yes, yeah, 38. Okay, let's go on to our next thing. Right, counting in twos. Here we go. Everyone join in. Make sure you're joining in. Are you ready? Here we go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Make sure you're speaking. I need to hear your voices. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Right. Close your eyes. Heads down. Open your eyes again. What number is the star bar covering? Turn to your partner. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Well done. Close your eyes again. Open your eyes. What number is the star bar covering? Yeah, 18. Fantastic. Right, let's do threes now. Year twos need to know counting in threes. Are you ready, year twos? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Well, I went a bit fast, didn't I? Sorry. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eight. 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. One more time. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. You might close your eyes. Open your eyes again. 3, 6, yeah, 9. Okay, close your eyes again. Open your eyes again. Yeah, 18. Good job, guys. OK. OK, here's our scales. We've done this before. Um, we've got 8, take away 2, and 5, add 2. And I haven't switched it on yet, so which side is going to go down? Which side has a higher value? Which side is worth more? So you might want to pause the video while you work out 8, take away 2, and 5, add 2. Just take a moment to work those out. OK, I'm going to go and have a look on a number line. Here's 8. If I take away 2, 1. 2, that gives me 6, gives me 6, and here's, the other one is 5, add 2, let's do 5, add 2, here's 5, add 1, 2, that one's 7, so this one's worth 6, that one's worth 7, so which side is going to go down? Hmm, brilliant, so 8 take away 2 is less than 5, add 2, let's try our next one, okay, we've got 7, add 3, Ooh, that one rings some bells. Mm, and seven made in heaven. And we've got two add nine. So you might want to pause the video and work that one out. Now, I know three and seven made in heaven. That makes ten. So that's one of my number packs I just know. Nine add two. Let's work out nine add two. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to find nine. I'm going to count on two. One, two. So that's worth eleven. Let's have a look. So that one's worth 10, that one's worth 11. Which side is going to be lower? Yeah, that side. 7 add 3 is less than 2 add 9. 
Okay, last one. Okay, nine add six and 16 take away five. You might want to pause the video, work those out. Okay, you might know the answer already, but I'm going to work it out. So nine add six, I'm going to use a 10 frame this time. So I've got nine in this one, six in this one, in this 10 frame. So I'm going to drag uh, one of my um, of the green ones into this side. So now I've got a full 10, a full 10 and five on this side. So I'm imagining a one and a five, that's 15. So that's worth 15, okay. What's the, uh, oops, which one was I doing, this one? Um, 16 take away five, so we know this one's 15. And this one's 16 take away five. So uh, let's have a look. Here we go, here's 16, here's 10, and here's six. I'm gonna take away five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's worth 10 and one, which is 11. So we've got um, this one's worth 15, this one's worth 11. Do you know what would happen lots normally? If I just glanced at that, I would just see that big number and think, oh, it's gotta be that one. That one's gotta be worth more. But this one's worth 15 and this one's only worth 11. So it shows you've got to do the maths. Which side is going to be lower? Which side is going to be worth more? Yeah, nine add six is greater than 16 take away five. That was a tricky one. Okay, now we're going to look at something that year ones probably haven't done, but year twos definitely have done earlier in the year. Okay, we're going to do a, a two digit addition and there's a way of doing it um, where you're writing it on paper that makes it easy to get it right. Okay, now um, if anybody wants to try this, I've unticked the tricky columns. We're not having any tricky columns in this one. We're doing 21 add 42. And I'm gonna write it onto squared paper, 21 add 42. So here we go. I've written 21 add 42, and I've put the ones in one column and the tens in another column. And you can see I've also got something else here. I've got my tens and my ones. Now you always start with the ones when you're adding, um, uh, uh, when you're doing uh, column addition, you always start with the ones column. So here we go. I'm gonna add those two together. One, add two, drag that down. One add two is three. Now I'm doing the tens. Now this looks like it means two, but it really means 20. So 20 add, and this four looks like it's four, but it really means 40. So 20 add 40, let's drag any of those down, is 60. So 21 add 42, it equals, this is the big equals here, see these two big lines? They're the big equals, equals 63. Let's do another one. Okay, oh, there we go, 44 add 33. Let's try that one. 44 add 33, and I've lined up the units, the ones, they're all lined up on this side, and then I write the tens digit beside them. And I always start with the ones, always start with the ones. Here we go, four add three. What's four add three? Tony's partner. Yeah, seven, isn't it? Okay, and then this looks like four add three again, but really in its meaning, and, and you really are just gonna do four add three to work it out, but it means 40 add 30. So, but it will feel like you're just doing four add three. So it's worth understanding what, it's, what it means. And that is 70. So 44 add 33, here's the big equals, 77. Let's do one more. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Sorry, I swapped it. Okay, 12 add 14, 12 add 14. So I like, here's my 12, here's my 14. I line up the ones columns, ones column, the units column. I line up the tens column, okay. Two add four, here's my big equals. Two add four, what's two add four? Yeah, it's six. And then nice easy one. Now we're thinking of it as one add one, but really it's 10 add 10. One add one, or 10 add 10 is 20, 26. Fantastic. Now guys, so 12 add 14 equals 26. Now your job guys, if you want to do some more, 
uh, please if you want to do something else is can you if you get this game up I'll put the link to this this uh, resource on um, the end of the video can you get this game up and can you um, it'll look like this to start with untick the some tricky columns we don't want that in a minute and then you can just keep pressing the next button L write out this addition fact on your piece of paper and then again afterwards write it again as a vertical and work them out and you can keep going as long as you're as you want um, and that, and uh, you'll have had a good practice at um, vertical addition with no tricky columns just remember please if th if this is really new to you I want you to untick this some tricky columns box okay guys your reward today is you get a pencil and the pencil draws on uh, on walls okay and this is a special magical pencil because if you draw a door on the wall that door becomes real and it opens into a brand new room and that means in your bedroom you can add a whole new room on any wall you like so even if there's no space on the other side if you just draw a door you get a magical room on the next side if you draw a set of stairs on your floor you get a set, a set of stairs that goes down if you draw a ladder on your wall and a door on your roof you get a ladder and a door on your roof on your ceiling to go into the next room there you go uh, not a real prize okay guys thank you very much well then everybody um uh, see you next time